What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Proud to Carry Man and I'm back with another one. And as y'all can see from to, uh, the title of today's video, we're going to be talking about it's a thousand round review of this Taurus GX4 Carry. Uh, we're going to talk about the red dot that I got on there, host of compatibility with and without the lights. Um, yeah, so again, I promised y'all a thousand round review. Hey, I went to the range, did what I had to do, and I'm bringing it to y'all to show y'all the reliability of this fire okay so we're gonna get straight into it without further ado oh wait 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 before we even get started on this if you haven't done so already like subscribe comment click that post notification i'm doing this for y'all that's all y'all can do for me just like the video subscribe show me some love all right without further ado we're gonna get straight to it so this is choice gx4 for y'all who haven't seen it uh this might be our first time looking at the review of the Taurus GX4, so this might be the first video y'all clicking on. It is what it is, but we y'all a little closer review of it. It is dirty. I don't know if y'all can see all that dirt on it. It's like dirty back here. It's dirty. Uh, you can look, you can look at it and tell that I've been running this. I mean, even look at the grips on it. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and show y'all that it is empty for y'all who need to see that it's empty. It is nothing up in there. You know what I'm saying? I see it, y'all see it. Nothing up in there. So, yeah. So, oh, yeah, I'm also going to give y'all an update on the, uh, the slide issue that I thought I had. Where it's automatically closed on the zone. I'm going to show y'all real quick. Uh, it's just going to close. See that? So, to get to that first, I did contact Taurus. And they said that that's just the way that the GX4s, GX4 carries, GX4 XLs are made. I saw plenty of videos with some people... Uh, slash stay locked back on without a uh, magazine in there. See so with an empty mag or with a loaded mag, it stays open until you drop the slide release with your uh, with your handle, unless you rack it back, right? But the moment you drop it, it closes. So they say that it is a safety feature. Never saw that before on any other firearm. I get it. Every firearm manufacturer is different. It's just something that was new to me never saw it none of my other firearms does that this is the only one that does it again they said it's the way it's made it's not my word it's theirs uh i mean it can be detriment to me it can be detrimental if you do have to uh, use your firearm and you never know you might have to do a mag reload uh and you know this mag it means all comes in a training i mean the slide clothes on you got to do a reload you got to rack it again you know whatever that's just like milliseconds of uh, what you uh, extra step you have to do me personally i like for my slide to stay open i insert another mag and i rack it back get ready or i just drop it with my thumb that's just me but again they said that's a safety feature it is what it is um and before somebody say it in the comments i know somebody gonna say it anyways oh if you gotta reload that means you, you you're not accurate you miss your steps you never know we live in the 2023 all right you never know what you running into criminals they run in packs we all know that you know what i'm saying and everybody don't drop off one or two three rounds you know so shot placement all that stuff i get that but people be hyped up off drugs and all different kind of stuff so you can't even say shot placement all that stuff we're living in a whole different day and age now so yeah drugs and got stronger and people criminals got more bolder and they running in packs so you want to make sure yourself is prepared and as trained and make sure you have the most adequate equipment with you to make sure you make a home should you have to encounter such situation, which we all hope we never have to do that. So yeah, but anyways, let's get straight. It must be rambling on. Let's get straight to it. So um, yeah, like uh, this thing has been nothing but reliable. Be all honest with you. I did put, like I said, put it that last video I gave you, I was like 450-ish rounds today. I went and put the other 550 through it for y'all. And I got a thousand rounds going. And again, I did run this 
thing, for the most part, I did run it dry. When I got to like the last 50 rounds, I did use some of that gum butter. Or that, or the, uh, I did put some of that on there. And you know, I don't know why, I just felt like doing it. But, I mean, it wasn't nothing wrong with the fire. I mean, it was still running, so yeah, I still gave y'all eyes around view of it. Again, just reliable, man. Ran dirty for all that time. I didn't clean it out the box. I am gonna clean it after this video. I'm definitely gonna give it a good cleaning. Uh, break it down here off the camera and just show y'all how dirty it is. You know, I don't know if y'all can see, but it's filthy. My hands getting dirty just by touching this thing, man. Y'all can see it, but it is filthy. You know, y'all can see that or not. But this thing, I mean, it's it's, it's dirty. But it has ran, so yes, I do deem it reliable, and I do deem it reliable for concealed carry. And I am going to add this to my carry rotation. It is what it is, you know. I know we're going to have some tourist haters get on here and be like, hey, I will never try. If you haven't shot one of these, this GX will carry. Get your hands on one, and then come talk to me about what's reliable, what's not, and how these things run. This thing has been phenomenal. I mean, and it's accurate, too. I'm going to show y'all in the shooting portion of the video. This thing is accurate you know so the only thing i am going to do to this is i am going to upgrade these sites you know what i'm saying i mean i do have a hollow sun the eps carry on it and this is the one with the green dot the two moa it's not the uh one with the solar thing on here that's that's fine but there's the one with the two moa dot don't know if y'all can see it on that but uh i don't know but yeah it's the one with the two moa green dot on it i mean and this thing it's accurate. It came zero. It came zero out the box. I didn't have to do it. I went to the range today to uh, see if I had a zero, and I didn't. I put it on. It don't need a... It comes with an adapter plate, but you can use it, but you don't have to. You know what I'm saying? I didn't use it. I just, as you can see, I co-witnessed my screws on there, and I ran uh, some MagTech ammo, 115 grain, and I ran some uh, some Midwest ammunition, some remanufactured ammo, and... uh. They both ran flawlessly. Uh, that MagTech ammo, for some reason, that thing got a punch to it. It feel like it's, it kicked way harder than 115 gram. But nothing came loose. That was after 550-ish rounds. It did not come loose. As y'all can see, it's cold witness. It didn't, it didn't nothing come loose. It's zero. I mean, this red dot along a company with this, I mean, this firearm company on with this red dot, it just make this thing like a laser beam, man. I'm not lying to y'all, man. I, 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 <laughs> I can't say enough about it. This thing shoots, man. I mean, man, Taurus did a thing with this. Uh, the glass, it didn't get dirty, even though, so y'all know a lot of firearms with the uh, hole at the top, with the witness hole, I guess they call it, so you can see if you got a uh, the loaded chamber hole or whatever, so you can see if you got a, a round in the chamber. Uh, most, some firearms with that, like your lens will get super dirty. Uh, from that but this one it did not it didn't get dirty at all from what i can tell it didn't get dirty so uh, i know my mp when i shoot it maybe because it's sick maybe because this one sits back a little farther but with my mp it sits a little closer to that and maybe that's the reason why the, um, the lands get dirty but yeah man i thought that was gonna be an issue and it, and it wasn't man and hey this thing's run man um, i had to hit towards up and order me a couple more of these 15 round mags y'all can see that's dirty as ever too but these mags, they work phenomenal. I mean, nothing more else I can say. It, it runs, you know. So, yeah, like I said, with the red, I'm going to upgrade these sites. I'm going to put a, uh, just to get a little taller sites. I mean, these do. This site, is a, if y'all can see it, it's just a tad bit taller than this, uh, than the optic. Uh, but I, I just want to give them a little bit taller. That's it. You know, some after they don't have to be optic ready sites. I did look at some sites, and I do have those on like my uh, some other firearms that I had. Uh, the sites that I got, I think they X, XS sites uh, or night vision sites, one of them. But they they regular night sites. They do sit a little bit taller because I, I usually run them on my Glocks, so they do sit a little bit taller than a uh, regular Glock sites. And these are of course Glock style sites. So I'm gonna switch those out and have it sitting a little bit higher, and that that's gonna give me a better um, that's a better code witness. Cause I mean, with this code witness, it's literally like a lower, lower, lower one third. Like you, you know, depending on the distance that you at, you gotta really, I mean, it's already lined up, but you gotta really see it right at the tip of the. Is is I had to show y'all on, on another video, but 
Because for me to try to show y'all, I got my, I'm using my iPhone right now, so uh, for me to try to show y'all, it would be difficult to show y'all what I'm talking about. Um, but you have to literally have a dot. Like, when you line the sights up with it, you have to literally have a dot. Like, barely, you can barely see the dot type. Like, you you know, but it's, it's spot on. And, you know, like I said, it all varies on the distance that you're shooting at. But other than that, yeah, this, this thing is phenomenal. It is phenomenal. Now, we're going to get into holster compatibility. As I told y'all before on one of my other videos, uh, even on the short, that this is from a company called Hilliker Holster. And as long as you have this TLR7A on it, uh, it will fit. This is made for my MP 2.0 with the four inch barrel. Uh, this with the TLR7A, this is made for that, but it will fit. And I will show y'all that real quick. I'm gonna show y'all that real quick while I'm doing the video. Might as well show y'all. Those of y'all who are looking to get this, y'all already know what to get. So I'm just going to tighten this up just a little bit. Tighten that up just a tad bit. That's what I won't come off. So again, this is made from my MP 2.0. And look, as long as we got the light, it fits. It ain't going nowhere. It fits. And it fits. So until someone come out with a light bearer option actually made for this holster, that's one host, that's one uh, option you can use. Now, and this thing look like a beauty. This thing is a beauty with this. You see this setup? <laughs> Before I take that light off. Ain't that ain't that pretty? That's nice, ain't she? Yeah, she nice. But yeah, let me go ahead and get this other one on here for y'all real quick. I'm gonna make this video super long. The other one I'm gonna show y'all is with the TLR1 HL, right? Show y'all this real quick. Tighten this light up. Now, tighten it like that just a bit. All right, so this is how she looks with that. Some people may like that. You know, if you like it, there you go. It's nice with it too. I did want to run it at the range with the light. I'm going to do that in the next video, see how it performed with the different lights on it. The only thing is, I didn't have nothing. I didn't bring like a coin or nothing with me that I usually use to tighten up my lights. I had them on my other firearms, but so I wouldn't ever take the lights off at the range. But this is the Tim One Concealed, the MSP holster. As y'all know, the MSP holster, I'm sorry. As y'all know, this is uh, made to, as long as you have a certain light on there, which is the tier one, I mean, TLR1 HL, the Surefire X300, or like a, uh, I think like an ALP, something like that. If you got one of those three lights, if you got the holster made for that light, you just put any firearm on it and it fits. So this is one of those that you can, uh, I'm sorry, that you can put up on there. The only thing I don't like about that, it's not like a defined click, but it, it does, it fits though. Right oh, there it go. So, yep, it fits. You know, it ain't going nowhere. And I'm shaking that pretty, pretty tough. So yeah, it ain't, it ain't going nowhere. But nonetheless, you can run it like that if you want. Then you always got the spare mag caddy. All you gotta do is take that mag out, put it there, and now you can run sidecar style with an extra mag in that. So it like real style, and it also fits the uh, the Surefire too. The uh, disc around the Surefire. I just didn't bring it because I don't have a holster for it. So, but, uh, if y'all look at one of my uh, shorts that I made the other day, you will see it with all three different lights on there. Um, now, what I do have here is the holster option here from Muddy River Tactical. Tactical. Shout out to Muddy River Tactical. Uh, Tactical. Uh, I went on their website. I saw them do a review on the Taurus GX4 carry, and I went on their website. And I didn't see a host of options. So I emailed them, asked them, like, hey, do you know if you guys are gonna uh, release a host of option with the TRLA with the TRLR 7A specifically, uh, the light bearing option, you know, I didn't see anything on you guys' website. Um, and I believe his name is Kevin. Shout out to Kevin if you see this video. Shout out to you, man. Uh, he responded to me. I actually reached out like on a Sunday night, like at, after business hour, and he responded to me within like five minutes. Wasn't wasn't expecting that at all. 
most companies don't get that with you until the next day, 48 hours, 72 hours, or within a week. But he responded uh, back to me right away. He told me that uh, he don't have it yet. It's in the coming months, and uh, that he do have the option for the uh, hoster for the uh, uh, Torres GX4 carry without the light. So I went back on the website, and I actually saw that he did have it, and I purchased this right away. That within less than a week, I was able to get this hoster, and it came quick, and it is quality. So again, this is look at that defined clip. This thing snug like a bug or whatever they want to say. It ain't definitely ain't going nowhere, man. I mean, this thing is nice, man. It runs, I mean, super concealable, uh, super slim, as y'all can see. Super, super slim. I mean, it's quality. So if y'all go on their website, man, show them some love. Uh, I don't get no kickback for none of this stuff. I'm just showing, giving respect on this dude. Uh, and yeah, man, this, this thing. So this is how I'm going to be running it, actually, since this is made for this, until Muddy River Tactical or someone else come out with a, uh, a host option that's light bearing that it can accept any one of these lights that I showed y'all. Uh, but yeah, other than that, man, you got the, you can, uh, I don't know what these holes are for, but I'm assuming they for something if you want to adjust it, uh, put like a single clip on there or something like that, you can use that, but I like using the discrete carry concepts, DCC monoblock clips, I like using those, as I told y'all in other videos, I really like those a lot. Uh, yeah, man, other than that, I don't have nothing else pretty much to say about it besides, hey man, if you think if you in the market or if you're interested about getting thinking about getting one, I say go get it, put rounds through it, get familiar with it, get used to it, and I guarantee you're gonna love it, man. Just, I mean, it's a winner. You can't beat it. Uh, it's a budget firearm or affordable firearm, as I would say. Uh, two 15 round magazines. It, 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 it'll get you through the storm if, it, if the storm ever comes. That's all I can tell you. Uh, yeah. So without. Without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and this talking portion of the video, and I'm gonna get to the shooting portion. Then after that, of course, the video gonna end like my last ones uh, usually do. Again, like, subscribe, comment, stay safe, y'all stay proud to carry. See y'all in the next one.
Y'all tell me what y'all think.